If you depend on the current security architecture of Niger to threat you, you will die one by one. There are some so-called fellow Nigerians who equate cows with human beings is very offensive. To say, oh, if you not allow our cows to move freely in your area, your human beings will not be able to move freely in the north. It's repugnant. And it's, it flows from the assaults that visited on the rest of the country by a group in this country. When we say we run a constitutional democracy, what is going on in our country today runs contrary to the tenets, ethos, and ethics of democratic governance. A situation where court orders are disobeyed regularly, where National Assembly resolutions are treated and thrown into the dustbin like tissues of newspapers, where members of the executive are summoned and they refuse to surface, where the Senate says this person is not fit to be in office. And that person is in office. There are so many where monies of federal government Nigeria are spent without appropriation by National Assembly against Section 834 of the Constitution. When we are coming through this National Assembly today, we said, How can five talks enter this place? Take away the maze. And the police said that they found the maze somewhere at the airport or Abuja, Abuja Gate. And none of the five talks have been arrested today, captured by CCTV. I will believe that. When this kind of thing happen, the butterfly that's dancing on the surface of the water, there's a drama under the water. I, I, I will speak about Yinka from the background of the masses. I, I happen to be one of the Yokada activists. When we had problem, we went to Yinka. And he said, ah, comrade, no, this is not your fight. It's our fight. Because what we are doing is for the masses of this country. And he took it up from there. Inca took it up and ensured that we got results. That is Inca for you. He didn't fight for himself throughout his lifetime. He fought for others. And Nigerian has been a hero. It's unfortunate that he has to leave us at this point. But Inca will be remembered for, for steadfastness, for consciousness, for, for deliberate uh, policy that the masses of Nigeria and the political class should come together and savage the country. Because the, the political class thought or think that relevant, uh, the masses are not relevant, are not relevant. But Mecca, Mecca you know, don't, doesn't believe like that. He thinks that we are all human beings and we should be treated equally. So that is the for you. Right by me, I remember the days of uh, Komenika in NCP days. We were all together with Ghani as of that time. I mean, that voice has been there since 1994. Probably before that time, he was involved in the student uh, struggles, student emancipation, freedom for the student uh, rights. But when he now became our PRO, because he was our PRO in NCP as of 1994, the voice I saw that 1994 was he there until he breathed his last. That voice never check. That voice never fear. He tell the truth to the authority. He tell the truth to whomever to be. He never fear anything. And then he will hit whatever the matters that is arising in the country, the way it should be handled before he later moved to Afeni Ferry. So it's a, it was a voice I respected a lot. Inka became the voice for the voiceless. He became an agitator for the downtrodden, who ordinarily the Nigerian government has forgotten. He was there for them to speak on their behalf. That's what 
he actually represented. Uh, it's going to be a very, very difficult legacy to put in the world because from student union activities to the democracy and now better governance, he has done all what is expected of an activist. And he achieved a lot, not by mere saying, it's what we can see. He started as a student union activist. Later, he joined with a senior comrade to fight for democracy. Then, after the democracy, he continued fighting for good governance, which is a major thing that we are battling right now. So, Nyinka has involved from 80s, 90s, and 20s, and now we are in the 21st century. Nyinka has laid a legacy down that will be very, very difficult for anybody to surpass. Oh, you see, one thing we need to get right is this. There will never be a falcon at anywhere. And the nature does not create a falcon. So, Yinka has played his part and he has gone. Somebody else will step into that shoe. There are thousands of Yinka waiting to be discovered somewhere. And there's a lot of people on the ground that they will march into that shoe and they will achieve the same thing Yinka has achieved. They that it may be very difficult for them to attain that level because Yinka worked for whatever he achieved before he left us. So, Yinka is a, is a fighter, is a warrior of all standards. But somebody else will step into it. And people like us will continue to support whoever step into that show. We are playing our own part in other areas of endeavor. But we will continue to look back at where we came from, where we belong. Because all of us are coming from the same source of activists. Being from school, being from the street, everywhere. We are all one. And that world you can see in the way we are rallying around the window of Yinka Udo Market. Even why his head is known to have been intolerating for over half a decade, Yinka was still up and doing, doing what he likes best, thinking about how to improve the society. I don't know the governor in the Southwest that does not have an engagement with Yinka on one issue or the other. I don't know. Either gun or city. And the same Yinka, you can see how dynamic he was. Yinka was one of those who post resistance to the government of um, Major General Muhammad Buhari retired in the 80s, when education was being commercialized, when our kitchen and our kitchen tools were being taken away from us, Yinka fought General Buhari and Idiagbo to his standstill. As a matter of fact, Yinka was rusticated by the school. Yinka and his friends went to court to get him back to campus, and he graduated. The same Yinka, when Nigeria was in darkness, in his own wisdom, he worked hand in hand with Tunde Bakari to make sure that Buhari becomes the president of Nigeria. Somehow, he did not, he came to pass. He never became the president. But when the same Buhari became president, one would have thought it's a good opportunity for Yinka to keep quiet. Inka kept criticizing Buhari as if he has never known him before, as if he has never had any working part with him. And I can recall very well, when the line, in the few days that Yinka's life terminated, what was paramount in his mind was insecurity. Insecurity. And I can remember when some of the, when the daughter of one of the leading figures in Yoruba land was assassinated. Yinka was one of those saying, I know those who killed her. They are not ordinary criminals. They are criminals that sooner or later there will be a great burden to every one of us. Whether Yinka is right or not, we all know it today. Many of our uncles, many of our aunties cannot go to the farm. Either they are Yoruba, whether they are Igbo, whether they are Usa, whether Kanuri, whether they are Nupe, they can't go to the farm. Yinka was not thinking of himself alone. Yinka was not thinking of the Yoruba race alone. Yinka was thinking for everybody, Yinka to me is like a junior Kwame Nkrumah who saw the light and said what we needed is a united Africa to confront imperialism. Yinka felt we needed a united Nigeria to undermine poverty and underdevelopment. But people thought he was a joker. People thought he was not a serious-minded person. Now today they know. Look at Imo State. I don't see any reasonable man who wants to go to Imo State now. To do what? When a whole police command was brought down. 
and they came back again that we have not finished so it's so interesting so painful that a young man dedicated his lifetime for a better nigeria and nobody took him serious those who took him serious are just we here we his friends that know him otherwise they don't take him serious uh well we we are in a morning mood we are bereaved that is why comrades and the civil society at large now to part you know a mass to give you know the last respect to Yinka Udumaki, who was a real gem, a pan Yoruba crusader, a quintessential right you know, activist, and uh, with concerning immodest, you know, a nationalist. Yinka, in his lifetime, spoke truth to power. He agitated for the restructuring of this country because of the imbalance and the inequality that permeates you know, every sector in this country. Yinka was an advocate of equity, fairness, and justice you know, to all and sundry. He fought, you know, for good governance, you know, all his life. And that is a good legacy he left behind. You will agree with me since uh, the, the demise of Yenka Odomaki. We wonder the calibers of people that have been elogizing him, the caliber of people that have been praising him. These are people that were said to be perceived enemies when he was alive. And what this one actually means, it is a lesson for all of us that we allowed to stand with the truth. Chief Galvao, of Pleasant Memory says, stand for what is right, even if you are standing alone. alone. Yinka has come a bridge for himself. He has proven he's a man on his own. You see, like I, like I used to say, I say, find it very difficult to refer to him as being of the past. And that's why I continue to use the word is. Yinka, I, I, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see the possibility of using the word was for Yinka as a revolutionary. I know he lives, he lives on. That's proven. Yinka is somebody that if he's convinced by, by any if he's convinced by anything, there's no person that can change his mind. It's a pity we are gathered here today because of uh, comrade Kaud Marke. Uh, Yinka is a living legend before his, his death. And then we will surely miss him. Right from the struggle from the Ghanifa Emisodiety Foundation, NCP, and thereabouts. And the Nika played a prominent role in the lives of Nadeko, and uh, he has been a guest in several prisons in Nigeria during the military regime. It is hard to get somebody like Nika who is committed, courageous, and consistent. When they remember, he can't